Hi. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Hitesh, and my topic for the presentation is Introduction to Java. This presentation covers the following topic: Why learn Java, building Java program, uh, compiler, object, behavior, method, data type, Java keywords, config statement, and Java program layout. Why Java? Java is the most popular and top ranked language in the whole world. It almost entirely an object-based language. It has vast library of two different classes and applications, uh, which can uh, simply implement, which can simply implement to build the better uh, program. It's more platform independent. This means it's good for web programming. It is secure. To understand how Java is platform independent and secure, we have to take a language. We have to consider a language uh, which is platform dependent language like C. So, uh, C is a platform dependent language. When C compiler compiles dot C file, it produces a dot CPT file, which is a combination of source code eighty percent and machine code, which is twenty percent. This machine code is different for different language. So. One cannot run the same C file in uh, every machine because machine code is different for each machine. So, in order to run that file in different machines, one has to create a particular environment, which is executable file, which is combination of DLL files, which is a, a long procedure and takes lots of time. Uh, but this is not required in case of Java. Java. Uh, Consists of a JVM software, Java Virtual Machine, which simply can accept the bytecode, which is dot class file, and run that uh, in any platform. So, any machine or computer which uh, has JVM installed in it can accept the um, bytecode. So, which makes its platform uh, independent and secure, uh, because uh, Java the dot class file cannot be read by human. Can only understand by JVM, so it is secure. Also, how to build a Java program? There are basically three steps of building a Java program. Number one, prepare a file for with extension dot Java in any editor you want, and uh, invoke the compiler in, uh, Java C and file name with the uh, extension. This will create a file. Uh, in the same location with the file name dot class file extension. Run the Java interpreter Java for without any extension. Java virtual machine. Java virtual machine is a software that implements on the standard operating system. Nowadays, Java is available for hardware and software platform. It uses the same bytecode for all JVM all platform. Allow Java to be described as write one and run. Uh, any way of programming language. Once uh, you have written a Java code, uh, which is dot Java file, uh, then the compile dot Java file it produces a file dot class file, which is acceptable, uh, which is acceptable by JVM, and can JVM can run that class file. So, uh, J with uh, every machine, any machine with the JVM installed can accept that uh, bytecode. Uh, which make it platform independent. Java Virtual Machine. Um, this flow uh, diagram, this flow uh, diagram shows the simple uh, working of the JVM. Here you can see that uh, uh, compiler convert the dot Java file to dot class file, and this dot class file can be run in any platform, no matter which operating system of Mac, uh, Linux, Windows. Is simply uh, with the help of JVM compiler. The base function of the compiler is just to create a class file. It simply converted the Java file to dot class file, and this dot class file is acceptable by JVM. Then we can run the other program which we have to Comments. There are two ways to give comments in Java. One number multiple line comments and single line comments. Double slash. Object. So anything which has two properties, state and behavior, is defined as object. 
like door. Door has a aspect like this color and behavior like it's opening closed open for behavior. So a door is a object. Likewise, we can simply take an example of car. Car has a uh, simply a state of its color and uh, its uh, speed, its model and uh, behavior like its brake, uh, reverse, acceleration, uh, etc. So, uh, in Java, we have two things like method and tools. All the state to go, all the state and properties was described in the full and all its behavior its uh, working is defined in the method class a class represents all object of a particular kind when we take uh, we, when we talk about a particular um, object we are talking about uh, we are uh, particular car we are talking about an object whenever we talk about cars we generally refer to a class car like uh, we have to keep talking about simple one car or one red car so that red car is uh, has properties of uh, red state of red and behavior of its uh, different behavior but when uh, suppose we have 10 cars with different colors and different behavior so the 10 cars belong to the same class class car so this is class and basically the it is the fact it is the name given to that 10 class this simple example shows the object class state and behavior of any particular object like here we have object cycle so this cycle belongs to the class uh, by cycle and the state of this car is black and behavior is a kind of uh, now what is method method is how we communicate with object we invoke method in java uh, to uh, communicate with the object so simply uh, uh, it simply means tell that object is either do something or uh, tell us about the state of that particular object the function of the method can be explained simply by taking an example of simple uh, ticket machine. Now, ticket machine is an object with the uh, state and behavior. Uh, its state includes the size, availability, availability, and uh, behavior include like uh, display, balance, uh, print ticket. Now, if uh, we want to print uh, tickets. Uh, so we simply uh, have to invoke the uh, print ticket method in order to print ticket and if we want to display balance we have to call uh, display balance method this is how, this is how um, we uh, can communicate with the object source code source code the, all the programming uh, all the uh, definitions which we uh, are writing is uh, source code Source code is basically the Java file. Our uh, whole program is a source code, and uh, we simply convert that to the class code, and which is acceptable. Source code is not acceptable by JVM. We can only uh, accept the class file. Primitive data types. There are basically eight type of primitive data types we have in Java. Byte, short, int, long, int, double, character, and boolean. Boolean can take only two or the zero or one, and character is the only data type with uh, no negative value. Um, uh, example. This example is simply uh, show the uh, basic hello world application. Uh, the main uh, line in this. Uh, program is the public static void main string argument and this is the gateway whenever we write any java program we need to use that program or gate from where uh, jvm can enter and start executing the program and jvm actually uh, execute program line by line so whenever we execute any program jvm start from here and Java keyword. We have 48 keywords in Java. 
in which we can use in our programming language. Um, the one important thing which uh, is uh, uh, is that uh, we cannot to simply initialize any variable by using keywords because we can uh, not initialize any uh, variable and give that name uh, like we cannot to use double with the like this uh, class double and then start our programming because double is a keyword and uh, Java JVM uh, treat double as a keyword not uh, what we want to give a class name or anything. Uh, expressions expressions uh, are like almost C, uh, uh, and uh, all the expression operators are uh, are like C and other language. And these are the basic operators used to even use in Java. Boolean operators and or increment decrement uh, arithmetic operation plus minus multiply divide and remainder. But uh, in Java, we do not have pointer. Uh, control statement. Control, these are the control statement in Java. Uh, switch statement. Um, we, in Java, we also have uh, exceptions which uh, like the uh, Divided by zero is an exception, so uh, we can uh, simply put that uh, exception in the try block and simply write a catch block for that exception. Java program layout. This is a basic layout for Java language. We simply implement it two uh, files: uh, Java dot awt and Java dot ut, which is predefined classes uh, in Java. And the star simply calls all the methods in the AWT class in AWT file. So this is the creating and using an object. Um, this is how we create object in Java. Um, here person is the object which we are creating in Java. And, uh, John, we have uh, this is the reference. This is called reference, and this is called whenever we uh, put new keyword, new to keyword, and whenever we put new keyword with any uh, object, simply assign that uh, object a particular space into it. And uh, here, John is the reference name, so we can simply write John dot name and name of the person and John dot age to 37 and simply like uh, in second we are creating another object of the same class like person is the class and Mary is the another person so Mary dot name is Mary John and uh, its age is 32 and, and Mary dot birthday actually we are here uh, calling